So, I am looking at bags and bags of scraps, and I thought, okay, my friends, let's do something new, and let's go ahead and put these scraps into pieces of quilts. So let's go ahead and sew all this fabric together and create a crazy quilt. What do you say? Let's make some blocks. And when you get a bunch of pieces sewn together, go ahead, bring it over to the ironing board and I press them all. And when you have pieces of varying lengths, bring it on over to your cutting board and trim them all to where they end at the same point on the strip that you're working with. And then keep sewing. So let's grab some pieces and go ahead and sew them together, see what we can come up with. And we're gonna put right sides together just like we do with any quilt. And we're just going to start sewing them on however they fit best and trim off the excess. So we can take this over to the cutting board or since it's such a tiny little piece, we can grab our scissors and go ahead and trim it across and go ahead and just start sewing all these little pieces together, taking them over to the iron and pressing them to make sure we know what we're doing. And so let's take a look at this first piece and we're gonna press that open and go ahead and add on a piece on any side. Maybe we'll log cabin, maybe we'll crazy piece it with triangles. Let's see what kind of scraps our bag produces and go ahead and have some fun. And just keep grabbing pieces and sewing them together. Try and determine right side from wrong side. No rhyme, no reason, sew them all together. And then we will decide what size block. And whether we put them away in our unfinished projects or we go ahead and cut them out and create a quilt. And again, if you don't have enough of the right colors, then you can put them in a bin, put them away till you have more scraps. Sew those scraps up together and keep going until you have enough to make a wonderful quilt. Maybe it's like an I Spy quilt. can find the football? Who can find the rainbow or the circles? Look at these. I love these. And just keep sewing the pieces together. Do we want the scrim in there or do we care? Which is up, which is right? Oh, wow, look at that, same size, love it. And I like to sew several pieces together and then I will come back and uh, then trim them off, press them, trim them, and then add to them. And again, no rhyme, no reason. You can sort colors if you have a project in mind. If you don't, take all the scraps that you have for the last couple of projects and start.
start sewing them together. And this one I'll probably trim off the white because I do not want that on there. Let's see if I have another piece wide enough to sew. This one's a white one. Look at this. This is thick. Let's sew these two together, shall we? Give thanks. I love it. Okay, right side up. And put right side down. Put the selvage above where I'm starting to sew. So we'll trim this off over at the table. And again, as you see, a lot of these strips that I'm sewing together, they're about one and a half inches, maybe even going down to one inch. It's all going to add eye candy. That's what it's all about, eye candy. We're getting a little bit too narrow on this. So cut that off, use it for another. We're just making eye candy, my friends. Always got to determine which side is face up and put both faces face together. So we're sewing on the back of each. We've done six or seven of those pieces, so let's go ahead and take them out. I'm going to run them on over to the iron. I'm going to press them, and then we'll come back and add to them. And we're keep going to keep on doing this until we have uh, maybe whatever size block we want. Um, because these are lots and lots of scraps, I might go with 12-inch blocks because there's lots of color and lots of act action going on in all of these pieces. And again, after we've pressed them, we bring them over to the cutting board. We're gonna go ahead and use a ruler any size you choose and trim them off and keep growing them before we start cutting them down to any rhyme or reason size. So just a quick trim and we're back at the sewing machine and you know my motto no scrap is too small so no matter what the monstrosity we've got some kind of project we can work on so hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber and if you hit the bell you'll also know when i put out the next video and that way my friends you won't miss a scrappy episode or making a serious quilt <laughs> So again, we are just sewing our pieces together. This one has a cut in it, so I'm taking the strip and I'm marking it to the end of and holding it taut, so we're going outside of that little bump. And then we will trim it off, press it, and it's part of our scrappy quilt. For two more pieces that are wide enough to sew together and we've got different pieces in here Let's see what else we can pull out of the magic bag Ooh, these look like they might be wider pieces okay so we've got a thicker piece so let's go ahead and use some of these butterflies and mix this in so we're going to put them face to face and sew them together. And at the end of the row, I can pull my thread or if I want to just keep it going, I pop up my foot, set the next one under the foot, make sure I'm lined up. And we just keep sewing. And I can trim these here at my table if they're small enough. Again, this is a scrappy quilt. I'm not being absolutely precise on this, okay, my friends? So don't jump the gun and say, I should. 
because clearly I should, but we're working on a scrappy quilt. So on the scrappy quilt, and I am sewing on a two, so I do have a uh, tight stitch. Whoopsie, unplugged myself again. All right. And we just keep trying to find pieces we can sew together. Look at this large one. Okay, I like that one. So let's put these two together and then it'll be another trip over to the ironing board. course we'll take it over to the cutting board as well and start getting some of my pieces in line and decide what size we want to make these blocks so we have started several different pieces and now we want to uh, lay them individually one by one on the cutting board and start trimming up the sides and adding to them, seeing if they're large enough to go ahead and make our blocks. And I am considering a 12 and a half inch block. So yes, again, on most of these pieces, I have to uh, continue to add pieces to them before we can trim them, but I've got some that are almost ready. Just need to add one piece around the side and we are good to go. So I am very excited and let's go ahead and show you how we do that. But we can't get too carried away. We've got to uh, go ahead and keep ironing all of our pieces, how we have added pieces on. That way they lay flat and we need to get a correct measurement when we're ready to do so. If I, if I do say so myself, I think a lot of these pieces are starting to look really, really nice. We're gonna go ahead and put one at the top and maybe another two sides and we might have that 12 and a half inch length. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, scrappy pieces that we are working with and see how they're coming together with the different colors. Some pieces are larger than others. We just have to keep growing them and growing them. And I did want to show you this one, my friends. And we're going to go ahead and take this over and trim this all up nicely so we can add to it. But again, sometimes we're working with triangles. Sometimes they're very small. It doesn't matter. This is a scrappy quilt. We are putting together all of our scraps to create some beautiful creations. So no matter how long you have them, go ahead and put them together press them, take them over to the cutting board, trim them up, and we're gonna keep on growing. And it looks like we've reached 12 and a half inches on this piece, so we're gonna go ahead and line it up with an edge, if you have a straight edge, and we're gonna trim off the other three sides, and we're gonna be able to use uh, this piece and this piece in making more blocks. This piece down here will go for another scrappy project. So we're going to open our cutter and we're going to make sure we're lined up and we're going to go ahead and trim off that bottom piece and likewise to the other sides. This is a lovely piece that is uh, almost done. We'll just add on to one of the two sides to make it longer, and then it'll be ready to create a block. Now, we're not gonna have enough blocks, it looks like, out of this pile of scraps to make a full quilt. So, I'll be able to lay out some of the blocks and show you, but I'm not gonna be able to do a layout of the quilt yet because we don't know 
um, all the other blocks. And see this one, if I decide to make smaller blocks, I can cut this into a triangle and pair it up with another triangle. So we're going to play and play and play with these until we have enough. But for now, we'll go ahead and set that one here. Take all of the others back to the, um, let's trim these up. And then we'll go back to the sewing machine and add on. And this one, we're just cutting them apart. And again, my friends, no worries about the, oops, I gotta turn it on. Uh, no worries about the layout of the future quilt. I will make sure I do another tutorial showing you how I put together all my scrappy pieces. Uh, but today I just wanted to use up some scraps, share that with you so that you know as well, please, please, please don't throw away the scraps. Look at that, one more piece and we've got that. One more piece on the side and I've got a full block. Uh, but don't throw away your scraps. There are so many, many ways that we can use those scraps that we want to uh, go ahead and spare the scraps because they can make some beautiful I spy quilts. We can, I'll add another piece on, then we can cut them in corners, match them up to different pieces, maybe a whole triangle if we get a big enough piece. Lots and lots of different ways we can play. So let's go ahead and keep playing today so you get a better feel for all the scraps that I have created in the last short period of time. We're just gonna trim that one off, then we're ready to sew again. And at the cutting board, we just discovered that adding a piece onto the side of this, we're gonna have our 12 inch block. So we've grabbed one that is just about a half inch off and I know I want a 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So no matter where I add that, it has to go onto another block. So let's go ahead and zip down the side. Again, we do not have a straight edge. We are making it scrappy. So we're going to get as close as we can to making a straight edge with this part. Making sure we're locking all of the layers in behind and keeping those seams laying the same direction we've pressed them. All right, so exciting. Okay, this piece we bring over to the ironing board we press that up and we will have a complete block. And again, my friends, don't think that there's too much brown in there. There's too much crazy colors. We can, once we get these 12 and a half inches, we can cut them in half, add them to another triangle, do lots of different things. We can even chop this up anyway, right down the brown area and add another strip in. We can do a wonderful uh, array of different things. So this one we know is good. We're not going to add any more to it right now because we're going to trim that to the 12 and a half section. So let's grab over a couple more pieces and decide which ones we're going to sew together now that might fit together or else we can go ahead and grab some more pieces to add to them individually. So, so far I'm not seeing a match with anything that I've got going on at the moment. They're different sizes and I don't want to waste anything that I have done or created. That's beautiful. If I put up top all the way around, it might reach that 12 and a half inches. Maybe we can add that to the top. Let's see what else we have here to work with. Up. Oh and I did not cut this one out. So this one goes back over to the cutting board, so we'll trim that up. We have this piece. Let's see how this fits with that first block that we looked at. And again, it's just trial and error here, my friends. There's no true rhyme or reason. We're a little bit short on that piece to add it to. We can add it here and then cut off, but again, that's brown and brown, which is not bad, because that brown will be throughout the quilt on different pieces. And we've got 
more little pieces, see if anything can be added to each other. I think that just about fits right there. I could add those two together, and then that would be a beautiful little scrappy piece. I've got this. Just seeing how I want to add the next piece, probably not in the same block. And this beautiful piece, couple more strips and we're done with it. And likewise with this, maybe just one more strip. So very, very excited. Let's grab some scraps, start adding to it, and then we'll come back and see if we can put them together. And I like the idea of adding this yellow to these pieces. Making sure all of our seams lay down the way we wanted them to, the way we've pressed them. And you see I'm not having a lot of structure here. I am just putting my beautiful pieces together any which direction that feels that it's right to me. Now I'm just gonna put the yellow across here. So let's go ahead and do this one across, I believe. I'm happy with that. was the 12 and a half. I think I like it better here. And let's go ahead and put these two together. don't want these pieces going together because we don't want duplicate in the same block. So those are going to have to be in two different pieces. Let's go ahead and make this one bigger. I've got one almost the same size in the brown. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, so let's grab some more pieces and put them together. And we are 
sewing all of our scraps together and then we are cutting them apart when we add two and we are almost there on the 12 and a half inch looks like i need another good piece on the side and on the bottom of this one and we'll be there and this one over here looks like just needed on the side so let's go ahead and take that uh, rotary cutter and trim these two apart okay and looks like on this one i do have my 12 and a half by 12 and a half very excited Okay, and we are one tiny strip short on this one from having a 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And a ways to go. And one more strip either side of this, and we'll have that 12 and a half inch. Okay, and let's go ahead and trim up some of these pieces. Looks like I'm right at 12 and a half inches on this one, so I just get to add on to make the depth in there. Uh, this one, let's go ahead and trim these pieces away. But see how when I have a long strip, I can put that on several different pieces, and that way I can take advantage of it without trimming, and then we'll press it and trim it now on the cutting board. And here nice looking there this one i'm really loving i want to do a lot more maybe with these triangle pieces that i have of the blue and that one is looking well as well so let's trim these up and get back to the sewing machine and another beautiful scrappy 12 and a half by 12 and a half trim her up we are perfect in essence, my friends, we are making yardage. We are turning all of our scraps into beautiful 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch blocks. So you keep sewing with all of your scraps, adding on and keep going until you have created yardage to go ahead and cut into 12 and a half inch blocks and make a beautiful scrappy quilt. So turn in or subscribe now, I should say, um, so you don't miss our next episode where we put together Scrappy Quilt, and we'll be doing this part this month and part two next month. So you get to see more blocks that I have put together from more scraps that I find until we can create a full, at least lap size quilt of a Scrappy Quilt. Can't wait to join you again. See you soon, my friends. One, two, three out of this block. And we have four, five, six. Six created out of today's scrappy session. And a bunch of pieces that are under what we need. So these we will finish up and show you in next month, Scrappy Quilt Continuance. Until then, my friends, what is this? This is a UFO, unfinished object. Unfinished quilt. Look at these beautiful pieces, beautiful starts. And I cannot wait to grab my other bag of scraps and add two.